Hi, this is Allison from East Cobb Tutoring Center, and today we're going to find the sum of a series using some formulas. So first, let's talk about an arithmetic series. Uh, remember that the nth term for an arithmetic series is the first term plus uh, the one less than the number of terms times the common difference. And the sum formula that we're going to use is half the number of terms times the sum of the first term and the last term. So let's take a look at a sample problem. And I'm going to start by giving you um, a pattern to look at. It's 5, 3, 1, and then dot, dot, dot. So first we identify that this is an arithmetic series with the first term, or an arithmetic sequence rather, with the first term being 5, and the common difference being negative 2. Arithmetic because we're adding or subtracting the same amount each time. So let's use some formulas to find the sum of the first eight terms. In order to do that, we're going to have to find the eighth term. So let's set up this formula. The eighth term is equal to the first term plus 8 minus 1 times our common difference. So our first term is 5 plus 7 times negative 2, 5 minus 14. So it looks like our eighth term is going to be negative 9. All right, so the sum of the first eight terms, it's half the number of terms. So because we're looking for the eighth sum, we're going to do 8 over 4. And then we add the first term. And we add the last term, that was the negative 9. So 2 times negative 4, the sum of the first 8 terms is going to be negative 8. All right, now let's take a look at what we need to do for G metric. First, let's start with some formulas. Uh, the geometric term, oops. Do we'll do it again? The first term times r to the n minus one power. And let's take a look at um, the sum formulas. We are going to have um, the sum for any number of terms, finite number of terms, 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And then, um, there we go. And then when r is a fraction, um, we can find an infinite number of terms. It's just a1 over 1 minus r. There we go. Alrighty. So let's take a look at um, a geometric pattern, 3, 9, 27. Geometric because each time we're multiplying by the same value, which is 3. And let's say that we have to find the sum of the first um, six terms. For the geometric pattern, we don't need to find the last term. It's just the first term, 1 minus r, which in this problem is 3 to the 6 over 1 minus r. So for this I'm going to use a calculator up here. And my value is 1,092. All right, one more example for us. All right, so here's another geometric pattern. This time I'm multiplying each time by the common ratio of one third. So if I'm asked to find the sum of an infinite number of terms, I can use the second formula I showed you where we take the first term and divide it by one minus r. So that's going to be three over two thirds 
my final answer is 9 halves. So if we were to add all the terms of this series from 3 to infinity, this sum would be 9 halves.